Hey, what's up everyone? It's me, Ryan. I know you guys hear lots of outside work going on right now. I'm gonna do a very, very, very quick video before anything happens before I see any spoilers um, about Thor. Uh, Love and Thunder, I wanna tell you my theories for what's gonna happen and why I'm excited and why I'm not excited. Um, hold on. I know you can hear that, but this, I'm just outside right now so my parents don't like walk in accidentally. Wow, I am really high definition in this. Anyways, um, So, let's start off. Number one, okay, hold on. It's not gonna work out like that easily. Um, basically, why I'm excited, I just got recently excited because, I don't know, it's a new Thor movie. I haven't seen Thor in a while, we haven't seen the Guardians in a while. I'm really, I've been excited for the Guardians. I'm always excited for Valkyrie. Excited for Buff Natalie Portman. I'm excited for Jane Foster and Maddie Thor. I'm excited for Quarry because Take Away TV is always cool. Um, people are saying it's mid, we'll see how it goes. People said Doctor Strange and Multiverse Menace is mid. Yeah, everything's mid for a little few reasons, but, um, some things are obviously better than others. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, dude, everything has, has its downside. It's almost like I'd say one dimension was near perfect. Regardless, everyone has um, criticisms of everything. Um, Shang-Chi. Shang was really good. Amazing. There's a little twist into that. Um, adapt there, it's an adaptation. Anyways, I'm not excited for it just because I don't know. I, I have no interest in the character of Thor itself. But I think you know, a lot of interest in the character of Mighty Thor. And what's going to happen to the Marvel Universe as in a whole. Because, um, I'm always saying, our next five movies in the MCU, as I said, sequels, um, well, they were six. Doctor Strange, Thor, Black Panther for 2022, the Marvels, and Guardians, and then we have Ant-Man, um, is six, um, and the Wasp, whatever, and then that's it. And that's, that's the rest of the movies in the MCU, as far as things go. Movie movies on screen are sequels. We have Blade, Fantastic Four, and then Deadpool 3 is going to be a sequel. Have, we have a few other sequels lined up, but Blade and Fantastic Four will not be sequels, which I am personally really excited for because I'm, I'm, we're going to get new content that's not sequels in the form of shows. So, I don't know. I always love that kind of stuff when, when we're not just doing a sequel to something. They're not bad, it's just, you know. Anyways, um, so it's another sequel. Um, I don't know. Um, but Taika Waititi also said it's very gay, which is very exciting. Um, I'm also, I've had enough with the God Butcher. He doesn't look as exciting as I wanted him to. He doesn't look like he poses a huge threat. Um, predictions. Zeus dying right away. Of course, everyone probably knows that, but we only saw him in a few promotional materials. I, only a few scenes. I don't think he's staying too long. Um, Love and Thunder, we have been confirmed since like the longest time that um, a Jane Foster is getting cancer, and apparently Taika's mom had cancer, so he'll do a really good job of that. Um, I hope there is an Avenger that shows up. Apparently, Sif is supposed to show up. I don't know how and when. Maybe she dies. I hope not. I really hope Heimdall and the rest of them have another chance. The brothers, the Warriors, too, because it's not a Thor story without them. But then the Ragnarok story is undone, or whatever, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> um. It'd be really cool if Loki Shank showed up. Just for Keaton Gath one more time, besides it's in the series. I would, would love it, but we'll see. Because we're on, and then, then the Loki series, there's no point in that. I mean, there still would be, actually, because it's that specific Loki going back time. But uh, there's a part where, like, the classic Loki, it's like, oh, I, I survived because I, I mean, I exist because I survived that specific timeline. And anyways, um, I'd love to see at least some reference or version of Loki. Love that, would love that. Maybe TVA. Um, but, Valkyrie like, supposed to have love interest. I was thinking, well, who's it going to be? I mean, maybe people have already known this. Um, just another Valkyrie, of the, you know, maybe a Valkyrie or just another person in Asgard. No, obviously not. You need to give her a cool person, a cool character. And I was watching this old, old video on Nando vs. Movies where I just remembered the character. That I, I, I always just look to they're just a cool character of Angela that would be so cool uh, Angela plotline get her in here because she's cool and she's gay and Valkyrie's gay so that would be cool I would love to see that that's what I'm hoping for and that's my prediction of who Valkyrie's love interest is going to be um Thor is going to be cool but we need him to retire or do something because I don't I'm, I'm going to see that with Chris Hemsworth I want him to show I want to show up in a few things here and there like how if we could see, like, 
Like it's it's a legacy character. Um, well, um, like how we see Hank Pym from time and time again, but Scott Lang is a prominent character. You guys are hearing this, um, doesn't really matter, but um, I'd love to see Thor show up, like, as a, like, like an old, or an older guy, just, not like an old guy, but just, like, the, the original holder of the manhole is showing up time and time again when we need him to, but I want to, I want Jane Foster to take the spotlight, um, as she does in the comics, um, I'm excited for that. Um, I would love Sam Wilson to show up, I love, love, love any, anybody from Phase 4, I'd love them to show up, because they can and they should. I also want to hopefully see maybe something with the scrolls. Because we haven't seen them in a while since like 2019 in Far From Home. Well, actually, we did see one in one of them. But I want to see more because Secret Invasion is coming up soon. It's the next show. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't have to have too many more predictions besides um, I'm excited to see Bass there. I want this to lead into Black Panther 2 as well. As you can tell, I'm very, very, very excited. Um, in humans, anything. Um, Kree, Captain Marvel, anybody. Um, just. Um, Things I would hope to love to see. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, videos I would love to get you guys soon are what I watched in June, what I hope to watch in July, as well as I need to really get out something before in the next few days. Um, San Diego Comic Con is coming up as well as Disney Plus Day. What is probably going to get be announced versus what I um, hope and wish and predict will be announced, um, release dates, etc. I will hopefully be working on that in the near future, but I also have a life, so we'll see how that goes. Anyways, that's about it. See ya.